Hey everyone, my name is Anvita Bansal and we are back with another lecture today. So the problem that we are going to discuss today from our SD sheet is swap all odd and even bits. So let's see what the problem says and let me just check if you guys are able to see the screen. Just Yes, I think we are live. Okay, so let's see the problem statement. The question says that you are given an integer, unsigned integer n. The task is to swap all odd bits with the even bits. So with an example, I'll show you. So let's take the first test case itself. That is n is equal to 23. And let's see, and let me take its binary representation and then we'll see what we need to do in this problem. Okay, so we have one zero triple one. Okay, let us have a look. So n is 23 n is 23 whose binary representation is 1011 let me just take these two equal to 43 okay so that's what we have with us i'll just show you what we need to do in this question so the binary representation of this number comes like this 0 0 0 one zero triple one so you all know that these are the this is the actual representation and we can append as many zeros we want in order in order to fit it for the number of bits that we want to evaluate it with right so that uh, that we can take as per our convenience but okay so what do we need to do in this problem so if you see let us have a look in this bit what are the bits which are present at odd positions. So if I start from this, this is the first position. So I can, let me consider it as odd position, which I am sh uh, showing you by highlighting it by this yellow color. So this is an odd position O, odd position. Another odd position is this. Then this is another odd position, odd position, okay. And then this is another odd position. So the remaining are the even positions. If I consider the positions like this, starting from this least significant bit, zeroth, this is your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth positions, right? So I'm taking these at my odd, the bits at odd positions. Now the bits at even positions are these bits, which I'm representing with E, right? Okay. So what do we need to do? I want to swap all odd bits with the even bits. So the number, the resultant number that I will get, I have to return that in the decimal form. That's all that we need to do. Now, how can we do it? So let's see the result, what we are going to get if I swap the even bits with odd bits. So start swapping, okay? If I swap this with so this one, I'm going to get one one. Swap this even bit with odd bit, I'm going to get one and zero, right? Swapping this with this, what I'm going to get? One, zero. Swapping this with this, it will be zero, zero, right? So I hope this point is clear to you that how are we going to return our answer? This is our answer. I'm sorry for the dis disturbance today from the background. Please bear with it. And let's see. So you saw this, that after, after we swap the kind of number that we are getting is in binary representation is this one zero one zero one one right this is now how can we do it using some bit manipulation so let's have a look what i want to do is my approach will go ahead like this that i would want to preserve i would want to preserve odd and even bits simultaneously i want to pres if i want to preserve my odd bits how are these going to look like what mask can I provide such that the odd bits at this number, in this binary number, will be preserved? So I want to worry about the bits that are present at odd positions. I want to preserve them. So what ca kind of a mask can I use? Now let me just write your original number back again. Your original number is triple zero one two three one zero one one one. Right? This is your number. Now what? You want to preserve it. So let me take a number which can give me all the numbers, the bits present at all numbers back when I do the bit manipulation using some bit mask. So what kind of a mask can I use? That's what you need to think of. So if I take a mask which has one at all the even position. Okay, I want to preserve odd bits. So I should possibly take 
a mask which has one present at all the odd positions so which are your odd positions these are your odd positions let me not take them let me just write o o o o and rest are even so if i take a number which has one present at odd positions in its binary form so this can be something like this okay and the rest are zero so if the rest are zero what am i going to get now what can you can do let's do and bitwise and of these two numbers okay so the if i do bitwise and what i'm going to get at odd position only only in your original number the positions that will have one at odd positions are going to be preserved rest will be zero right that's what we have that's how we have chosen this mask fine so one and uh, bitwise and with one it's going to be one one and zero zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero zero one zero 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 so now in this in this number don't you observe that at odd positions in my original number the numbers that were present the bits that were already present at those odd positions are still present in this number and rest are what we don't whatever rest we do not care about the even positions but odd position numbers are preserved so this is your zero this is your odd position one was there this is your odd position one was there this is your odd position one was there this is your odd position zero was there so these are all are preserved this this is just and you see even positions this got converted to zero so we are not bothered about even positions that is why we don't have to care about it now tell me what is the other mask that you can choose such that you preserve preserve even bits preserve even bits in your number so the original number was this right i want to preserve all the even bits of my original number so what kind of a mask can i choose tell me so this is your original number okay and you want to preserve your even bits so what kind of a number can i choose let me choose a mask which looks like this which has ones at all the even positions so let me put ones at even positions this is even position even let me write e e e E, right so 1 1 1 and rest is 0 so this is the mask that i have chosen now for myself okay so that i can get all the bits that are present in even positions back in this number which i'm going to get when i do a bitwise and with this okay so this so this is an odd position it will be 0 this is an even position the original number had 1 at this position so i'm going to get a 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 again 0 0 0 0 i think we only have one only one one was present in the even position in the original number this is your even this is your even so only one one was there so we got finally one one rest are zeros okay this is what we got so this is your number when you preserved your odd bits let me write it as odd and this is your number when you preserved all the even bits so let me write it as even okay now these these are the two numbers that you have what i want to do is now further next manipulation that i will do is let's do a right shift on the even number that you got so this is the number which has evens preserved right so evens preserved pr evens this is odd pr now do a right shift on even preserved number so even pr when i do a right shift on even pr by one position what i'm going to get eventually see when you do a right shift on this number so the last bit will be removed and each bit will be shifted by one position one zero will add up here okay so the number that you that you are going to see is you'll get a get rid of the least significant bit from the rightmost position obviously that's what least significant bit is so you will get rid of this zero and the number that is going to look like is so you are from even preserved number you are doing a right shift so this is the number this one will get shifted here and rest will be zeros how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and one more will be added so total seven zeros 3 4 5 6 and 7 do the similar thing on odd but what i want to do a left shift on odd preserved number okay so left shift by 1 so when i do a left shift by 1 on odd preserved number one bit 
from the mo the most significant bit will be removed and each bit will be shifted by one position to the left so the number that i'm going to and one zero will add up here so the number that i'm going to get is zero zero one zero one zero one zero okay so let me write it here zero zero this is one zero one zero one zero now what i want you to do is do a bitwise or of these two numbers see what are you going to get bitwise or will give you one wherever one at least one one is found as a bit so one this will be one this will be zero this will be one this is zero this is one this is zero this is zero okay so finally this is the number you have got let's verify if this is the number that we want we can see in the result in our test case so this we saw that one zero one zero double one one zero one zero double one is our answer so this is what we wanted this is our result so i hope you understood what all kinds of manipulations we did so far and we what we wanted to see so this is how we are doing this problem so let's move to the code quickly and see what all things i have done i'll just cut it short for you while i am coding i'll just again reiterate what steps we did okay fine so let's move to the code part i hope okay so what are we doing here is first okay one important thing what is that important thing before i code let me we chose a mask we chose two different masks so that we can preserve odd bits and even bits okay but how can we create this mask when we code obviously we have to give what kind of a mask are we giving so if you see if you see this number 5 what is the binary representation of 5 if you see it's 1 Okay, one is the remainder. Two, zero is the remainder. Two, one, zero, two, zero, one. Okay, so what did I do? One. Okay, so zero, one, zero, one is the binary representation of five. I'm sure you all are already aware, but I'm just writing it so that you all can clearly see, right? And if I ask you. what is the binary representation of 10 i'm taking 10 okay remainder 0 okay 2 remainder 1 okay remainder 0 remainder 1 okay 1 0 1 0 is the binary representation of 10 but since i am talking about decimal numbers so i took 5 and 10 in terms of hexadecimal numbers what It, what does this binary represent so if you you can go to the table you can check the table if you are not already aware but in hexadecimal a is represented by this as your binary number and that too since it's a hexadecimal number so how many bits do we have so i can represent it by 16 bits so each bit looks like this four times 1010 1010 1010 One zero one zero, right? So this is how many bits? Four four is sixteen bits. So that's the hexadecimal hexadecimal representation of A. Okay, in terms of binary. Okay, so and if I in hexadecimal, if I want to represent five, so five will be represented as zero one zero one, zero one zero one, zero one zero one, and zero one zero one four times. Fine. So I can simply take a number. int let's say a not a let me write any number num1 int num1 this is the mask 1 that i am creating so mask 1 can be taken as 0 x right and what is it it is your integer number what is it 5 right so 5s how many times first of all see we want to represent a 32 bit number so i'll take 5 8 times Five, 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 five. Okay, fine. So that's how I can represent this number in thirty-two bits. Here I have shown as sixteen-bit number, but if you want to represent it as a thirty-two bit, so I have taken eight fives here. And similar thing, second mask that you we are going to create that will be zero x four eight times a a a a 
a a a a right so these are the two masks that i'm going to create i hope this is very well clear to you i have represented you in 16 bits but we are taking it as a 32 bit integer so here we have written the this 5 8 times so this 8 times 5 will be represent will uh, its binary representation will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 how many times 8 times 8 into 4 1 5 is represented as this and it has 4 bits so 8 times if I am doing it 8 for the 32 so this is how 32 bits are going to be represented when I am writing it like this its binary representation will be 0 1 0 1 this thing will go on until you get total 32 bits fine so I hope this thing is clear to you let's now code it so my mask 1 so mask 1 is the mask that with which I want to preserve odd so let me write it as preserve odd okay so this preserve when i want to preserve odd what kind of a number are we taking so in order to preserve odd you will see that you are taking actually five as your bit mask means five represented like this as your bit mask zero one zero one let's see see when i wanted to preserve odd what kind of a number did i take to preserve odd zero one zero one zero one zero one right when i wanted to preserve even what kind of a number i took i took one zero one zero one zero so this is this is taking eight a's right as binary so this is to preserve even and this is this mass is to preserve odd so to preserve odd i can take zero x zero x eight times five one two three four five six seven eight and int preserve even will be even will be 0 x 8 times 8 8 times a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's how you're going to represent your odd and even masks clear now let me write int odd so your odd number finally when you have preserved odd number what you have done we know that we have done n and preserve odd we have done bitwise and of your given n with this mask that i have chosen okay so this is to preserve odd so when i have using this number to do and i'm doing a bitwise and with n so the number that i'm going to get will have bits preserved at odd positions only right preserve odd and similar thing when i get a new number which will have bits at even positions preserved that I will get when I do a bitwise and with preserve odd number. Preserve even, sorry. Okay. So this is what you are doing. Now next thing is what? You are right shifting this even number and left shifting this odd number each by one positions. So the new even that I am going to get, let me write it as even. Right is even right shifted by one and odd is odd left shifted by one now you are returning bitwise or of these two numbers even or odd let's compile it right So that is all about this problem okay i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts you can write it in the chat else we are done with this question just, just let me just see if you guys have any doubts i'll just open up the chat I don't see any doubt so far right okay then if you have no doubts let's wrap it up guys and